Uganda, a beautiful country, is situated in the heart of Africa. Blessed with a splendid natural beauty, it's full of landscapes, lakes, rivers and waterfalls. It stretches from the hilly parts of western Uganda in Bundibujo through the evergreen Wakiso in the central region along the shores of Lake Victoria. In the eastern region are the plains of Katakui, while in the northern region, when you cross the Nile, you find Arua. These were the selected districts for the research documentary. Education is the key to life and everyone has the right to quality education. In 1997, the government of Uganda, under the leadership of President Yoweri Museveni, ventured into the provision of free education by introducing the Universal Primary Education Program. The sudden introduction of UPE, which some have referred to as the Big Bang approach, brought bewildering challenges, and these are access, equity, relevance, resource generation, management, achievement, affordability, and most importantly, teachers' morale and motivation. The government has responded to these challenges by building more classrooms using the school facilitation grant to reduce the pupil to class ratio, providing more teaching and learning materials to reduce the pupil to textbook ratio and undertaking curriculum reforms with the aim of making education more relevant. The government has also been involved in training and retraining of under and unqualified teachers, provision of management skills to head teachers, mobilization of community support towards primary education and recruitment of more teachers with the intention of reducing the teacher to pupil ratio. The strategic planning is to encourage the school communities to come up with the, their initiatives of uh, laying bricks and uh, we have introduced the uh, food for assets under World Food Program in the refugee catchment areas whereby they lay bricks, they provide some basic local materials. And then uh, in, in turn, uh, World Food Program gives uh, help, gives food for this and this has done a commendable job in construction of houses particularly in Terrego uh, many uh, uh, teachers houses are mushrooming and then at uh, district and national level we have uh, SFG uh, two classroom I mean two apart from classroom construction we construct two semi detached teachers houses uh, amid these reforms how about the quality and morale of the teachers? When Unatu, in April 2005, visited the districts of Arua, Bundibujo, Katakui and Wakiso, among others, those challenges were still rife. Some districts still have inadequate infrastructure in terms of classrooms and some learners are still taught under trees. The, the, the classrooms are not sufficient at all. Sometimes uh, you find that the classes are too congested, that the teacher has no room to go and cross-check with the work that children seated behind are uh, doing. And sometimes there is not even a route that you can use to approach any one single learner that you ought to give the particular system. Yeah, we have got a lot of problems. One of the problems is the number of classrooms that we have is not enough. 
as a result some people learn under the trees the textbooks are also insufficient Actually, one of the problems is the textbooks are very few sometimes you have only one copy for a whole class and you just have to fidget around how to look for ways of presenting what you want to give to the learners the, the peoples I have uh, they are around 60 and uh, when we talk about uh, the materials we use like these textbooks you find that they are not enough you find at least three pupils sharing a, a book 